Hey, we're still working on the uh, at a training group. So let's uh, come in here to our administrative main page and put a link on it to that page. So let's find our default page here. And then down here, we'll, I'm just going to copy these two. I'll have to clean up this page sometime too and make it uh, easier for the user to find stuff. So there's our link, and now let's go back here just to test it out. I'm sure the link works. Okay, so let's look at this again, you know, our contact stuff. Uh, um, and I'm not sure what if we should even have this, if we should just put all this down in here. But uh, you could say Jenny at four 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 you know whatever we want for the contact then let's make it active and I don't really want to worry about in this but I do want to worry about is this insert and the cancel let's put our air checking on those and then let's check out this text box I don't know what this text box is oh I do know what this text box is for it's for the description I put the editor in but we never took out the text box so anyway let's go just add the um, checking on this on the buttons Okay, so we're looking at add training group, and down in here, let's find our description in the insert item template, which is here, and here's our HTML editor, but here's a text box, so let's get rid of the text box, and then the next thing we're going to have to do is crack open the button field so that we can put that error checking on it, so let's go and do that, let's go to design view, edit the fields, and go here to these buttons and convert them to a template field. Say OK. And then what we can do is switch back to source view. So to put the error checking on these buttons, again, we're worried about the insert item template here. Uh, let's just go to the add event. And we'll copy the code from those. So remember, we put the span around the button to say, are you sure you want to leave? And it would be around this cancel button. So we'll start the span here. And then after the button will close the span and then we'll also uh, let's see let's go check I think we just left that one button 2 or did we call it something else yeah we'll just call it button 2 here so we want to grab the code and this code for checking that button is that right no when they cancel we just let them cancel if I remember I guess you don't remember, right? Uh, but let's do this. Let's uh, put this item in certain code. So let's put all of our error checking in here. Just want to check if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. So if we do cancel, I'm sorry, we do put this in here. So our details view one item command, and if the command name is canceled, then we'll do this. So I'm going to copy this code, this VB code, and we'll paste it into our you know, training group VB. And since we still call it details view one and the command name is cancel, that'll be okay. I'm sorry, double click that. Let me redock it. And then let's go find our add event VB. We'll copy some more code here. Let's put this one for item inserted or just double checking if there's any errors with the database. pop up an air panel. So we have to put those air panels over here too. Um, so you know just complaining about we're missing these two panels, our success panel, our fail panel. And then let's just check for any other VB code.
Okay, so we need this for, we have some buttons on the success and failure panels. I don't know if you remember that. Copy this. That looks like all of it. Okay, so the other thing we need to do then is actually copy those panels over. So let's go here to add event. I don't know if you remember this from before, but we made these panels down here. A success panel says we added the record to the database. We'll have to change the text in here a little bit. And then we've got the failure panel. It says what do you want to do? So we'll add this to our training group ASPX page. Let's put this down on the bottom. As long as it's inside the, our main div, we'll be okay. So let's just check the text on this. So the record was added to the database. And then uh, go to the command view newsletter. We're going to say, oh, now we can leave the, n the name the same here on this button. But we do want to return to the home page. Oh, I'm sorry, view the running page. So we'll have to change that. And then uh, let's just change this to view running too, just so we're not messing ourselves up. And then our failure panel, if, if it doesn't get it added in there, what do we want to do? Return to the admin page or return to the add. Turn to that training group page. So let's go the one button name will change this view running page. Let's go to our VB. So this one we're going to have to change. Um, default, default. And retry. Okay, so those are all okay. Let's just get rid of this code. Actually, let's leave it here for a second. Oops. And then let's go and say our command. So why is it not showing up here? Change the name of the button to command running view. So let's, I'm sorry, let's save this. So I think it'll show up here on our VB lesson. Command view running page. We want the click event. So now what we'll do say here is the server dot transfer, and we'll go to the running folder, and so we can get rid of this code up here. So again, that way, if we say yeah, it's was successful, let's go take a look at it, and we can just go look at the running page. Okay, so let's save all this, and we can test it all out. I don't know, again, if you want to watch all this. Uh, we're running a little long on this one. We're going to add in a contact here. Make it active. Have you heard the dog barking at the cat out there? Um, and then we can say cancel. Are you sure? We'll say cancel and stay here. You know, we can say cancel and say OK. It takes us back here. So now if we create a new training group. And then we can say insert. Su successful. View the running page. Here it takes us there. And there it is. OK, so that one's working great. One more page to go, and I think we'll uh, be pretty much done here.